Yo, 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 yo. I just want to make this video real quick to point out a very good clip in movie history. I'm sitting here watching Boys in the Hood. And I got to tell everybody all the time, I grew up in an all-white, poor neighborhood, the trailer park. I spent a couple of years, a solid year, in the heart of South Daytona, which is pretty ghetto. I'm not going to act like it's, uh, it's not quite Jacksonville. It's not, you know, I'm not saying it's Compton. Uh, California, but even with my knowledge, I wasn't going, you know, right across the main street, Soul City, which was a five minute walk. I wasn't going there at night. I went there with my buddy, uh, who, you know, new place. But, uh, you know, my apartment complex, I was the only white dude, you know, which was very close to that other place. So I'm just saying, I'm saying that to say the poor white. Neighborhoods, poor black neighborhoods are the same. Poor black people, poor white people are the same. White people and black people are the same. I mean, you can say nobody's the same, but there's a bigger difference between rich people and poor people than black people and poor people. And I say that someone grew up poor, but my dad was a millionaire at one point. I didn't live with my dad, I lived at the trailer park with my mom. But, you know, I went to Manhattan with my dad, where he spent like 15 grand in a weekend around other rich people. And, uh, his brother married a millionaire so i hung out with rich people so i'm saying all that to say that this is a scene that i definitely see happening in the hood and it's a subtle scene that i don't think a lot of people notice but it's a beautiful scene it's boys in the hood right so so they get they're out there looking at stuff they get their call they get their ball taken right i'm not gonna show you the whole clip i'm gonna show little pieces so he gives him the ball. Thanks, guys. Yo, dog. The ball gets taken. He, his brother, tries to go fight, get the ball back. Hey, yo, Rob. Get a little nigga the ball back. He, see, you notice how the big guy, who looks like my boy Mont, <laughs> aka Fish, I was I'm texting with you right now, but free fish is a work release. All right, so go all that. And if you see, like my buddy like this, he looks like, he looks like his size, but if you see, this guy, he's with the thugs. He's with, he's with the thugs, but he still tells him to get the ball back. He doesn't make him get the ball back, because when home, when Doughboy kicks him, they still leave. They're still walking away without the ball. The big dude didn't make his friend get the ball back yet, right? But then he, he was starting to, but then dude kicked him. His daddy gave him that ball. If you see his daddy, Ricky, right there, he was saying, oh, I, uh, keep it good, you know. Homeboy was saying, I got a ball at home, I'll give it to you. He's not going to like it. His daddy gave him that ball. So, obviously, it's an important ball. <laughs> Man, what the fuck? No, I don't do that to you know my video. You fucking kidding me? Hold on. I give it to you when you get home. Man, he ain't gonna want it. His daddy gave him that ball. What's up? Alright, so daddy gave him the ball. Now watch, man. Big dude. Once again, makes eye contact with Ricky. Kill that motherfucker. What? Big dude even looks back. Big dude looks back against his Ricky. sitting there thinking because the big dude if you don't know any better the big dude knows you don't show weakness in the hood bro even if you want to be nice even if you want to be a good guy you don't show that shit man you know you just don't show any kind of weakness like that because they're motherfucking the night one's not like you there's there's scavengers this dude's hanging out with you and they just waiting to see something like that and they may not do nothing right there but they're gonna remember it and they're gonna take advantage of it at some point you'll see the point of the video in a second And I love too, because even though he gets the ball, dudes, the big dude still stares at the little dude, even after he got the ball, like, y'all, I'll, I'll fuck you up. Man, you always gotta be hard in these scenarios. I'm saying, it. Trust me, I lived in Baton Rouge, scary place. Uh, South Daytona, scary place. Worked in uh, Mall Creek, Fulio and Young and Aces hood. Worked there at night. And I'm telling you, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm, I know my shit. I'm, I'm certified allowed to talk about this. I do like 
like how Doughboy is still calling him sorry too. And that's another whole thing. Doughboy's brother calling him sorry right there. Always quick to make fun of him. But also, fought gang members trying to get his ball back. My point is, the big guy threw the ball back to him anyways. And the whole point of this video is, you know, a lot of people see that group of people and think gangsters and the thugs and all that shit. And I'm telling you, I'm a dude that went and became friends with that group of people outside his door because I had to, to survive and end up becoming close friends with them. But still, my whole point is saying that someone, and I'm telling you that big dude, he's hanging out with them. He's that big. Fucking, I promise you, he's hard as fuck. I promise you that dude is hard as fuck. Especially he's wearing blue out there in Compton. Where you ain't allowed to wear clothes unless you're allowed to work at the South Day Tunnels like that too. My boy Jit wore a red bandana. You can't wear a red bandana. It may not have been caught, but you can't wear a red bandana unless you're allowed to. He's incompetent wearing a blue one. So you know he's real. And uh, you can see in his face too, man. Wolves right now is wolves. My point is to say not everyone's black and white. Not everything's black and white. Even in the hood, something like that dude's scary as fuck, big as fuck. Still has heart, man. Still has a heart for kids. So don't judge people, don't judge people by the cover, don't judge people where they're from, man. Because I've met rich people and seen them all nice hey, they go to church, they'll be the quickest to fuck you over in a second, man. You know, big dude like that benefited nothing from uh, from doing that. If anything, now that I'm a ball to play with, may even piss his boys off. Did it anyway, man, because he do it out of heart.